the sagebrush sea, a seemingly endless homogenous mixture of plants. It's also home to many endemic species that are adapted to survive in this unique ecosystem. On this hunt, we're joining avid uplander Jacob Locke in pursuit of sharp-tailed grouse and sage grouse in eastern Idaho. bombers to start the morning. Are those both males? They were. They looked like it. Yeah, the one, you could see the white neck feather, so mature male. Um, you think they so flew under the... He marked them down. He marked them down way the hell out there. So this little lava rock patch right here, I was telling Garrett right when we drove up and saw him, that's the second largest sage grouse select in the region. Hmm. Oh, really? That's an 85 bird sage grouse select in the spring in wow. April. To find sharp tails on fall X normal, to find sage grouse on fall X, like, they don't do that. Hmm. So that's kind of weird. Um but that's exactly where they strut in the spring. Mm. So, yeah, it's only two birds. Dude, I think I'm gonna so. shoot in these shades. Are you? They're <laughs> convinced these are gonna work out. <laughs> okay, we'll keep cruising. Sounds good. Yeah, I was gonna try and back off of them. It's like, oh shit, oh. birds. And I, like right when I hit reverse, they jumped. Yeah, Damn I it. All right, just be bopping along. Due to there only being two birds, and the fact that they're very hard to mark down, we roll on to our original destination, which is an area where Jacob was successful in filling both of his sage grouse tags the weekend before. So sharp tail tend to like to be able to see, sage grouse like to be able to hide, mm -hmm. uh, is what I found. This is some of the most topography out here on the desert, and we were finding them in these like basins and draws right up at the base of kind of rock outcrops. Quite a few of them were against the the green brush it's called ceanothus but yeah we'll kind of work these basins and let the dogs let the dogs cover them hopefully we'll put some birds up here before too long Wackerelli is what these glasses say like, i'm gonna call yeah. it Wackerelli <laughs> or wackerly that was the Whack. ship we bought our car whacker <laughs> i like that it has whacker in it sage grouse are hard um from a habitat standpoint because I mean, they could be anywhere in this whole desert. Kind of hunt in the vicinity of Lex. Um, I was telling Garrett, normally, like sage grouse don't really fall Lek at all, like sharp tail do, but I don't know, if you know where a good Lek is in the spring, in the fall, you have pretty, pretty good chance of finding birds within a couple mile radius of that Lek. Yeah, Garrett, if you keep your eye out, obviously grouse droppings, pretty standard. Oh yeah. In addition to dropping, sage grouse do a unique thing called tars. So it's about the size of a silver dollar, and it is a black, like liquid tar that they uh, excrete once a day. There it is, little Idaho sage grouse, and a lot of walking. Just terrain features, but you just kind of walk. Beautiful spot, though. Tetons in the background, pretty awesome. And they're excreting the black tar for territorial purposes or just uh, no it's part of the digestive system okay okay because they're ruminants just a byproduct yep i got you yep right on man so, yeah that's cool yeah only bird in north america that does that interesting but, yeah silver dollar black black tar I wonder what the consistency is if it's like a it's i mean it's just it's gooey it's liquidy wet those are a little harder so they're yeah. probably a day or two old it's almost like a rubber yeah huh as it dries Wild. out and hardens but if you find one that's wet it's go time. You're close. All right. Yeah. Like scientifically, it's been recorded up to four miles in one jump. So when they're migrating that 90 mile migration from summer to winter range, those are in four mile increments across however long, two weeks to a month that they want to drag it out. Well, and when they land, when they're on the ground, they're still walking. So they're, they're covering ground distance at the same time. Day to day, week to week, as October moves through, you could be seeing different sage grouse day to day. Amazing, that's crazy. Yeah, uh, if that's the case, then there are no guarantees on them being in the same place day to day. Right, right. Sweet. Hell yeah. Dude, that's a good paddle. Oh my gosh, heck yeah, dude. That's a 
Is it all beat up or is it? That's lush. No, that looks thing like. looks like real recent. Yeah, I bet this dropped in. Nice. That's a good one, dude. Yeah, that's a great shed. Holy crap. Let's go find them. Yeah, go find them. Four of them. So dude. one jumps and we're like, oh shit, road bird. And we sit here for a second. It's like, uh, uh, There's probably more. We should get it out yeah. about that time. There they go. Yep. <laughs> it's always like you're thinking there's going to be more and they just boop, boop, boop. Yeah, they're probably 150 yards maybe. Just off the left side of the road. Back me up. <laughs> you're coming. We should be on the same trajectory right here. Yeah. We should be right in the vicinity. That white one's going to get him. What's her, what's that dog's name one more time? Maisie. Maisie, okay. Yeah, I feel like she's really close. Nice shot, Jacob. Nice! That's what I'm talking about right there. Nicely done, dude. There's one more. It was the first, the first one has not been found. So it's out here somewhere in the middle. Nice. Was that dog sitting on it? Yeah, he's just <laughs> Nice. Nice. Thanks, man. I, it's weird. I saw some oh, break I off. I think we left, need to walk this. And yeah. I think some broke so off. So right. there, there was a single flushed originally. He's the one that sailed over the ridge mm -hmm. to the right. I don't think he went far. And then these two jumped and went left, and I just shot both of them. Okay, so there might be some over here. There's at least one there, and I think it's worth walking because I don't think he went far. Way out there. Ooh. That was a, that was Onyx a got him. Yep, that's right where he should have been. <laughs> oh, he's pretty far too. Yeah, be, yeah. Garrett, Garrett! There you go, Berger! Hell yeah! There we go. Doubled up. There goes another one. Damn, good cubby. That was a nice, dude, it broke out like eight birds broke out of that. Yep. I let that one go because it was kind of far, but when those other ones oh, got up, yeah. I was like, those are in my lap. Yeah. Kind of becomes pandemonium. You're locked on the one you saw fall first, and it's like, or the last one you saw fall. We'll find this bird. I give her water, and I was like, <laughs> where the hell'd she go? And then. Yeah, June. All it takes is a little. Wet. Good nose, boo boo, good nose. Cool, man. First Idaho sage, or excuse me, Sharpies. That's cool. I looked straight up and I was like, no, 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 no. Too late to the safety party. Part of it. I was like this, smashing, trying to fit, and I was like, oh. And then by the time I did it, they were already up. I think all three of them will drink about as much as you give them right now. I don't even know where we are. Like at all, somewhere out here, over and over, over and under. Well, we found them. We didn't get a shot off, but we found them. Very small cubby. I wasn't ready. And uh, yeah, complacency will get you. But got a couple more days, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, it's for sexing and aging. Yep, so there's that one. And then they want the two middle tail feathers. So these are Colombians, right? They are Colombians, yeah. They are, it's a subspecies. Idaho Fish and Game uses data collected by hunters in order to estimate grouse populations. We end up cleaning all the sharp tails, which by the way is one of my favorite game meats, and give the dogs a rest till the evening. We hunt the last hour of daylight without moving any birds and plan to head out in the morning to hunt near the lek where we saw the sage grouse the day before. Tetons look pretty this morning over there. Yeah, they did. It looked like two nice males. Probably the same two males that were right here <laughs> yesterday. See if you can see them pitch. We could just take off walking from here if we want to do that. Yesterday we left birds to find birds and it didn't pan out very well. So. Did you see where the sagers went down? They, they took off. Roughly. We, know, we lost them. They're, they're on this side of that sagebrush hill. Oh, they're way over But they're like in the bottom. Before we head off after these sage grouse, I wanted to go ahead and introduce the real MVPs of the trip. First off, we have Onyx, who's 
the youngest of a pair of Britneys owned by Nick Dumkey. This dude's all gas and is a very good bird dog. The second Britney is Maisie. She's a sweetheart and she's the veteran. And if she locks up, you can bet there's birds there. Then we have the beautiful June. She's a small Moonster Lander owned by Jacob. She's got no quit in her. And if you see that tail waving around out in the desert, you know there's birds close. Then of course, my dude Chester, the field golden. He's got a hell of a nose, and if you're down a cripple, he's the one you want after it. June's really birdie. A lot oh. of these dogs are really yeah, birdie. They do. Sharpie! Sharpie, yep. Covey. Let's go get them. They might be flighty, be ready. That's what they're smelling. A Sharpie. We either missed them or they're out of here. I still think those might be over. Possibly. The Sharpies or the Sage? Sage. Oh, you think they went over the ridge? Possibly. They look like they were on a mission to go far. Yeah, the, oh. when they hit the hill, they hit a 90 degree angle. They're, these birds are insanely evasive. It's pretty... Well, and look at this country. We're just like. spread out, oh. yeah. Be ready. Yeah, hey, be ready for a cubby. Maisie locked up perfect on that one. She hit it hard. Oh yeah. Double trouble. <laughs> Man, Macy. She was on it. She locked up. Here. Her jumped five feet in front of me and two feet in front of her. It, oh, was, it was sweet. Good boy, Chester. Out, out, out. Drop Good boy. One cubby a day. <laughs> That's all you need. That's all it takes, man. Dude, I swear it was. I saw her six. locked up. The second I said Maisie's locked up on that, point. When that bird, it was two feet off of her and six feet in front of me. Like, yeah. It was tight. They're gonna be flighty, but let's go that way. Well, you say that. <laughs> no, they. If they're in this tall brush, man, they hold tight. Garrett, I'd, I'd try and get up there. Yeah. Yep, yep. They're up too far. That one's way out of chance. Yeah, those landed in a different county. Bird! Oh, damn. Bird, get! Just pitch. You got a mark? Right in line. Yeah, right this way. I got the line right to that bushy top on the sand dunes. Okay. It's survival of the fittest. You got to find that one dumb one that doesn't flush. Probably 100 yards from it now. Maisie, watch Maisie. Oh yeah, it's creeping up point. Yep, you're on Garrett, right there. Bert, Bert! Woo! Oh God, they're all gonna fight over it. That bird never had a chance. When they no. shoot it, I was like, it's done. Oh, Onyx got the bird. Nice job, Onyx. Good boy, right here, Onyx. Right here, right here, right here, right here, Onyx. Don't let that bird go, it's still- Good mark, damn good mark. That's right. I'll tell you. That's one of the- good singles. Yeah. Dude, good mark, buddy. That was your trajectory in the, in the dog organ. Nice job. That wind couldn't have been more perfect set up for him too. <laughs> Danny's like, I'm really ready to pull the trigger. I am, but I want to film hey, it more. Everybody that's yeah. watching this, this man has walked two days over crazy terrain <laughs> filming this hunt. Putting so, up a shitload of sharpies. Yeah, putting up a shitload of sharpies. <laughs> so, Dan, we thank you. Right when oh, I when saw it jumped, him, I was like, this better not get out of here. I was like, <laughs> that bird's probably not yeah. gonna make it out of here. Good deal. Maybe the rock star so far, two nice points. Hell away. yeah. She's good locking them up, man. Good dog. That's about worth it. Up, me shooting one, just watching them work. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, you all want water, don't you? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. She did. There. Oh, Everybody, wet your noses. So as nerdy as it sounds, my checkoff item was the hope to get a point, and that just happened. So. It doesn't get much cleaner than that. It's awesome. Dude. Yeah, that's good. Love it, dude. Onyx. You know the guy. Yeah, hog. <laughs> Oh my god! Too far! Damn it! Shit! Look! No, bird, bird. Kill it! Kill it! Oh. June, leave it! Dang, man! That was a right shitload here, of sagers. Right here on this little tiny path. Close to the water. I wonder if that had anything to do with it. Mm -hmm. Close to that water over there? Yeah. yeah. I, just, yeah, I, I did too. Yeah. Oh, I would have too. I feel like those have seen some shit before. 
They were well, not, maybe, were but all four all four them. dogs yeah. were already on them, so they got they got hammered by the dogs. Didn't have the camera on them, but we just flushed another nice covey of sage grouse. Did get some shots off. No birds down though. Damn, she topped the hill, flash pointed. It was like when she like crested the hill, they were four feet off her nose. Get in there, the covey. Oh shit. Keep going, Garrett. Keep going. Man, if we haven't hit them yet, I'm starting to think those sagers might have gone a little further. Oh, they've got good wind. Watch Maisie, she'll probably hit it. Oh, point. June, whoa. Bird, bird. Damn. When he shot, I saw one get up. I was like, freaking go over there. There's more. Yeah. There's more every damn time. There's always more. That afternoon was really hot and the dogs had put a lot of miles on. So we gave them all a break for the evening and ended up just cruising some roads, scouting for areas that might have sage grouse. The next and final morning of our hunt breaks, crisp and clear, and we once again find ourselves wading through the sagebrush in search of the elusive sage grouse. That is apparent that this is their restroom. So we're about smack dab between the middle of two really large sage grouse lecks that are on this road, but they're about a mile and a half to two miles north and south of us. And these birds are just out here in the middle. There it is, Sharpie. Ha! Yeah. Damn it. Damn. Freaking ran around the other side. The Gave us ring around the rosy. You were like, obvious cover. Gotta be a sharp tail. <laughs> oh, dang. Big pile of sage grass crap. And a tar. Oh, got him. Sharp. Some, somebody, yeah, he's not, keep my tank. That bird's down, right there in that green patch. Oh, shit. That wasn't the same bird. Right there, that big green patch, Garrett. Where at? Right in front of us. Okay. Somewhere right here in this draw. Bird! Good shot, Jacob. I was behind him. Big time. Nicely done. Woo! Ah! Hey, reload, reload! In. No. What? Sure? I don't think so. Young male? Young male. He had too many star tips. That's what bird! Oh! That's a hen. The first bird was a juvie male, second bird was a hen. Missed the shit out of that thing. Pretty Garrett cool. and Sage Girls were not meant to be, apparently. It's just not gonna happen. <laughs> I'm just off mark. You only get them within range while you're inside the truck. Right? It's the only thing possible. I can't tell you how many I've seen inside the truck. <laughs> I've seen a lot of them. I'm a hell of a bird watcher. <laughs> well, just wrapped up uh, Sage Grouse hunt here. I had been filming for the last couple days. And last night and this morning, I decided to say screw it because I really wanted to shoot one. And luckily this morning, uh, we had some land um, right in front of us and it, they got up a little early, but there were a few stragglers left. So was uh, able to put this nice mature male down. Got a little beat up, but he's awesome. Um, heck of a hunt. Big thanks to Jacob Locke for having us out and hunting with him and showing us the ropes. So Sharpies, sage grouse, it was awesome. All right. Thanks for watching. Great people, great dogs, a beautiful place, and some really cool birds. And I know this is cliche, but it truly is what it's all about.